One day after authorizing President-elect Joe Biden to begin a transition, President Trump displayed no intention of conceding and shared a message on Twitter calling for an in-person revote, a sign the mostly out-of-sight president is likely to continue his public campaign to undermine the results of the election. When asked by Fox News' Sean Hannity about the prospect of a do-over in a battleground state on November 5, two days after the election, Senator Ted Cruz Artex, dismissed the idea, saying the standard for holding a new election is extraordinarily high. The General Services Administration, a part of the Trump administration, signed off on Biden's victory on Tuesday, formally allowing the transition process to begin. In a tweet after the head of the GSA, Emily Murphy, announced the move, Trump claimed he was recommending that Emily and her team do what needs to be done with regard to initial protocols, and have told my team to do the same. He followed up Tuesday morning saying, the GSA does not determine who the next president of the United States will be. Trump and GSA authorize Biden to begin presidential transition Forbes.